hope you all are doing well this is my first time ever vlogging <laughs> um i'm gonna get a facial today because i've been dealing with hyperpigmentation for the longest um i tried a new facial called seraphy because she have the hydrating um seraphy and the foaming one so um back then i honestly didn't know my skin type and um i tried the hydrating seraphy which led to me having loads of breakout on my skin and the breakout basically left um hyperpigmentation spots on my face i'm just going to show you guys how it looks like this side is really my biggest problem side so um this has been going on for the past couple of i think past couple of two months now a month so i've honestly i felt so insecure because i'm honestly not used to my skin looking this crazy but um i just want to get rid of the hyperpigmentation and um i figured let me just get a peeling because i've been waiting for the weather to change over here in netherlands finally it's like the weather is cold again so i can finally get a pill i honestly don't know the name of the feeling um but i hope my esthetician can explain to you guys uh what the peeling is about and how it works uh but she kind of like gave me a short explanation of how my skin is gonna look like for the uh, next few days so it's gonna peel for about seven to nine days um i'm gonna try my best to film the whole journey of how my skin is gonna look like um i do hope fingers crossed that it's really gonna help me get rid of this hyperpigmentation because i'm really tired of looking crazy like honestly look at my skin guys it looks so awful <sighs> yeah so um i hope the peeling is going to help to get rid of this hyperpigmentation and i honestly regret i regret trying out this seraphy face wash because um because back then my skin was really dry and i thought by using a hydrating uh facial it's gonna i mean a hydrating um cleanser is gonna help me um i don't know it's just gonna help my skin look better and less dry but not knowing that my i was gonna break out and my skin was gonna look this crazy but anyways um it's <laughs> basically i had to learn the hard way and um also i discovered a new cleanser um i'm gonna insert a picture somewhere it really helped me to get rid of my acne because by the way, my skin is a combination skin. Um, it's a oily skin, acne prone skin. Sometimes I do tend to have more acne than normal. As you guys can see, I had one here as well. My forehead. This is really the biggest problem side of my face. But anyways, um, like I said previously, I'm gonna film, I'm gonna try my best to film this whole journey. My face is gonna look crazy. Uh, my face does look crazy right now, but honestly, I could care less. Uh, <laughs> but it's just, it's just a great way for me to look back and be like, okay, I did this treatment and it worked for me. Or um, a way to also know what product to use and what not to use because the seraphy hydrating is not for me <laughs> and um my skin was doing well like honestly i had hyperpigmentation but it wasn't as much as this and um i've tried different products i've tried different cleansers i've tried different moisturizers i've tried the serums i've tried different toners and nothing has helped to get rid of this hyperpigmentation but yeah like i said previously i'm gonna film everything gonna try my best to film this whole journey for you guys and um i'm just gonna leave the house i'm gonna leave the house now to my facial to get my facial and um i'm gonna film it for you guys so yeah stay tuned <laughs> Thank you. Say hello 
Okay. <laughs> Okay guys, uh, this is my esthetician. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself please? Hey. So hey, my name is Glow Expert and today's facial is gonna be a modelic new facial. So I'm just gonna film it, I'm not gonna talk through the whole um, video. <laughs> I just got home and I was like let me just change my sweater because I'm extremely tired um, so I just did the pill I believe 50 minutes ago I just got home and I'm about to take a nap but I just wanted to update you guys real quick on how my skin looks like as you can see it's really greasy and a bit red especially on my cheeks um, so I got this bag right here an aftercare product what I'm supposed to use for the next seven to uh seven to nine days so basically it has like a cleanser in it moisturizer vitamin c F spf and i'm supposed to use those products for the next few days and i'm quite excited to see how my skin is gonna look like um i hope it's gonna get rid of all this hyper hyper pigmentation that i have um, so this is just a quick update and ignore the mess in the background. This is my stuff box and my ring light I'm really tired to take to to take them down. So I just decided to leave them up But anyways, um, this is just a quick up quick update to let you guys know how my skin looks like It's really greasy as you guys can see especially around my forehead and my nose and also a bit red and while she was applying the peel it burned really bad and she had to apply the pill for six times about yeah six times so whenever she applied so the first time she applied the pill she let it sit for se seven minutes and then applied the second round and the third round and she did for about six times and I still have the pill on my face I'm supposed to leave it on for uh, 12 hours yeah for 12 hours and then after that i'm supposed to rinse it off with one of these products right here or the cleanser that i got from her and um and she said after like two or three days my skin is going to start to peel so i'm quite excited to see how it's going to turn out how the result is going to be of my skin so this was just a quick update before going to before taking a nap because i'm exhausted like today has been a long day so this is day three I look crazy as hell but anyways I just wanted to update you guys my skin has started peeling especially around my mouth area I'm so excited so this is basically uh, dead skin yeah I know it's disgusting <laughs> decided to apply lip gloss because baby these lips were dry as hell <laughs> but um yeah so i woke up this morning and i saw my skin basically on my pillow and so when i had a shower when i washed my face then loads of skin came off like this part right here also my my lips were peeling as well but it's way better because it was really really dry last night uh, so I'm really happy that it's back to normal again and this part right here feels really soft <sighs> so yeah this is day three guys I'm really excited what I've been doing is applying the SPF every three hours because my skin is a bit itchy it's really dry so I feel like the SPF has been helping to kind of like moisturize my skin and hydrate it in a way um, other than that I haven't been applying anything just the SPF every two hours so I what I did is that I set an alarm after applying the SPF the first round so I took a shower around 12 so then from there on every two hours so at two i'm gonna reapply my spf then at four then at six and eight o'clock is gonna be the last round because by then it's gonna be dark so yeah this is 
day three guys once again oh it started to peel around my nose a bit can you guys see that Good morning guys, um, I woke up like, I believe an hour ago, oh, literally still tired, so I went to bed pretty late, um, so that's why I'm waking up at this time, oh the time right now is 1. 1 p.m. and um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update before taking my shower um, so this is the state of my skin and the dead skin around my mouth area came off last night because uh, what I do is that I wash my face I believe that's a must to wash your face before going to bed anyways but uh, what I did last night is that I washed my face before going to bed and I noticed a load of dead skin coming off last night. By the way, the reason why I'm constantly looking up is because my screen is literally up here. My lens is down here. So I'm just trying to see if the camera is well focused on my face. So sorry for constantly looking up. But anyways, uh, so while I was washing my face last night... Um, I noticed loads of the dead skin coming off um, and today my nose started to peel Ooh. my nose started to peel can you guys see that and around my chin uh, you can notice a slight brightness around my mouth area if you compare it to the to my cheeks like this part is just slightly brighter than this part right here and um, I believe uh, if I hop into the shower and wash my face uh, more dead skin is gonna come off especially around my chin area right here um, yeah so that's just a quick update today is by the way day four I'm pretty excited because I can like literally notice that the peel is like it's gradually moving up to my cheeks so I'm really excited to see <clears throat> I'm really excited to see how this part is gonna turn out is it gonna brighten up is it gonna still look the same is it gonna slightly brighten up or is it still gonna stay dark um, so I'm really really excited about that and the thing is that I have a plan B so if it doesn't brighten up I'm definitely gonna do the Demra needling <laughs> um, but anywho I'm about to help into the shower and after that I'm just gonna have breakfast and just I'm literally just gonna stay home today and work on some school stuff work on my essay so this is just a quick update for you guys and just close up there's still dead skin on this part of my face this part slightly lighten up and um i'm just really really excited for the end result i believe by day seven the large amount of pale or the large amount of dead skin is gonna come off by day seven so that will be on monday if i'm correct or tuesday because today is friday so yeah so that's definitely gonna be around a tuesday or monday guys and uh today is day i believe today is day 10 or 11. um to be honest i lost count because um I've stopped vlogging after day four or day five due to the fact that I started to peel around my cheeks area and I noticed that there wasn't much difference um, and I was quite upset um, so I was like I'm not gonna vlog anymore I'm just gonna get rid of all the videos that I made I'm not gonna upload anything anymore and I contacted my esthetician. I sent her pictures 
and videos and we basically just went over the videos and the pictures together we analyzed everything together and we did notice that some spots uh, became lighter over time but some spots were still the same like especially on this side of my face which is my problem area on my face um i was quite upset and i was like i'm not never gonna do the peel anymore but um i've done the v peel in the past and to be honest i feel like this chemical peel and the vi peel it's quite the same both are i would give it a 10 to be honest but i do, I do feel sad because um i do know some girls that did this peel and they know there's like a drastic change instantly but with me i probably have to do the pill like i believe two or three more times before noticing any drastic change and i'm also considering doing the derma needling because uh, i feel like doing the pill and the needling together is gonna help my skin change it's gonna help me get rid of the hyperpigmentation but overall um i didn't see any difference and um just to be realistic doing a pill just once is definitely not gonna get rid of the hyperpigmentation um i honestly believe and after i have to talk to my esthetician i believe um i'm definitely gonna continue with the pill probably next month which is november and probably in december or january um, I'm gonna combine it with the derma needling because uh, my skin is quite um, tough. I've done different kind of treatment, different kind of peelings, but this hyperpigmentation is quite annoying, especially like melanin people, like melanin females. Like once we get pimples, it's gonna turn into something. Uh, it's gonna turn into hyperpigmentation, which I've been dealing with for the past couple of two years now um, I've been consistent with my skincare I am big on applying reapplying my sunscreen every two hours I literally like my classmates know me for doing that like I literally set an alarm for every two hours as a reminder for me to apply reapply my sunscreen so I've been literally be I've been consistent with my skincare but like the hyperpigmentation is still there which is really annoying it's upsetting as well but yeah i guess uh skincare is a journey you have to go through you have to literally give it your all um so that's just what i'm gonna do i know at the end my skin is gonna be glowing it's gonna get back to how it was in the past but i just need to stick to my skin routine not slack and um everything's gonna be all right but i'm anticipating on hopefully on january or maybe february for my skin to get back to how it was in the past and um fingers crossed also i'm definitely not gonna try out new products like that really that really taught me a big lesson like don't try out any products that anyone recommend aside of your esthetician don't try anything you read on on the net on instagram or on twitter like don't do all that because i literally had to learn the hard way but anyways um overall i do feel that my skin is smooth it's radiant it looks healthy um as you can see i'm just gonna show you guys but but the thing the annoying thing is that pimples are popping back up again as you guys can see like this red part right here you can literally see the pimples popping back up again and this part i can feel like a big one coming up on this part um as you guys can see you can literally see like some part of my face are like really light but then the hyperpigmentation are literally ruining it they're ruining everything oh man what? you're just ruining it you're ru look at my lips you're ruining it everything <laughs> but i feel like the pill held but the annoying thing is that my hyperpigmentation is like small spots 
um so it's gonna be a it's gonna be hard to get rid of them but anyways um overall um i would give the pill a 10 out of 10 um it was quite gentle as opposed to the vi pill skin wasn't dry um especially like after day nine because i stopped healing after day seven so like on day nine ish i know it's like a glow like every morning i wake up i know there's a glow my skin looks healthy it looks radiant but the hyperpigmentation is ruining it <laughs> that's about it this was my skin mini skin journey i guess um to be honest i enjoyed vlogging i enjoyed like capturing every moment not every moment but like every moment of the uh pill which was quite nice um especially looking back like months from now i'm gonna be like damn my skin was really going through it but um overall i enjoyed vlogging it's quite different as opposed to being at home and filming from my room filming from the same setting the same um space in my room so which i really really enjoyed so i'm definitely gonna vlog more often um i'm definitely gonna take you guys on my skin journey as well like i said this is a whole journey like i'm not gonna get rid of the hyperpigmentation at once after one pill i'm just being realistic so i'm definitely going to take you guys on this whole skin journey of mine um in case anyone out there is dealing with the same problem then hopefully this might help you or inspire you to get a pill or to get a certain product that i'm using and i and i just want to thank everyone for watching this video do not forget to subscribe, like this video, and I just want to say have a nice day. Bye guys.